Good morning. Welcome to our flying adventures. It's all about the journey. Today I'm going to continue my how-to series. Again, I'm not a CFI, I'm not a CFII, and I didn't sleep at a Holiday Inn. This is purely for my learning process and I can share what I've went through to do different things on the Garmin 480. So feel free to watch it if you like. There's also a text version on my blog. You'll see this video version and the text. So feel free to check them out if you learn something great. If you don't, that's okay too. If you have a comment, please add it in. All right. After reviewing these uh, text posts that I've done in the past, uh, this one was done back in May of 2019 actually. I still have to say that I miss my flight stream 210. I cannot purchase that. Well, I can purchase it, but it will not connect to the Garmin uh, 480. Uh, so my iPad and ForeFlight is standalone. I really, really miss that feature. But with that said, uh, the Garmin 480 at least does Victor Airways and has a whole lot of other great programming features that really make it a nice box even though it's a legacy unit. So with all that uh, whining out of the way and me missing my 210, let's get started. Today I'm going to plan a flight, which if you read my blog, I use this example quite a bit because it's one of our routes that Mary and I fly quite often. It's going to be from Ocean City, Maryland to Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. That would be KOXB Ocean X-Ray Bravo to Wilkes-Barre uh, Alpha Victor Papa. It's our typical mission uh, when we go to visit my parents' uh, grave or we go up to visit family. I use four flight to select the course. Then select the route, which I've done. I won't get into that or show that now. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the flight plan button. We select flight plan and then we select new. Ah, Ziva just came in to join me. Okay, so we need to enter our point of origin. Again, you're using the cursor, outer knob and inner knob. I'm going to use the keyboard. Yes. Ocean City, click on enter. Destination is AVP. So let's hit enter. So here's our basic course OXB to AVP. After looking at my four flight plan, I know my entry point for Victor 29 is going to be. Smyrna, E-N-O-V-O-R, Echo November Oscar. So let's add that waypoint. Enter. And now we're going to select Airway. We do not want the jet route. Where is Victor 29? Let's go more. There it is, Victor 29. And by looking at my flight plan, I think it's Luzerne, VOR, LVZ. LVZ, yes, that's going to be our ending point. Okay, so we have Ocean City, Smyrna, Victor 29, LVZ is the ending point, and then you see it has that discontinuity. The discontinuities between the two points are a common feature of a, a flight management system. It's a reminder that you haven't spelled out the IFR route between the two points. If you add an approach that uses this VOR LVZ it will disappear automatically 
Since I don't know what approach I'm going to get upon arrival, I can just go ahead and delete that out, which is the easiest. So let's scroll through here down one, and we'll clear that out. Let's expand. I can get on that button. And here's what we have. ENO Smyrna. We we join Victor 29. And these are all our points along that along that route. Blair, uh, DQO to DuPont VOR, MXE to Modena VOR. Uh, Pottstown, PTW to VOR, then the intersections or points hikes. ETX, I believe, is East Texas, then SLAP, WIT, and finally LVZ to VOR. So we've checked all our points. Now we want to execute. So we'll go back up to the OXB. Execute. We'll go look at the map. There's all our points. I decluttered the map, but let me try and cursor through so we can see a little bit better. Okay, we're I double tap the cursor so that I can move it on the screen and maybe scroll up and show some of the waypoints. It's pretty clogged up here, but you'll see uh, KOXB to Smyrna as the first leg, then to Blair, DQO, MXE, Pottstown, Hikes, East Texas, Slat, Wit, Luzerne, LVZ, and our final destination. So here are all the points. Can't blow the screen up bigger otherwise I would. So that's the basics of flight planning and using the Victor Airways. I hope that helped in some way. If you have any comments, questions, please leave them down below. And thanks so much for watching.